Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, Tech Ever AR5 Drone Demos Lifeboat Drop, FAA designates Las Vegas area a no drone zone for Super Bowl 58, FAA expands before you fly drone programs. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to Airborne Next Gen, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Tech Ever AR5 Drone Demos Lifeboat Drop Tech Ever demonstrated the successful deployment of a lifeboat from its AR-5 drone as part of a search and rescue exercise conducted by the Italian Coast Guard in partnership with the European Maritime Safety Agency. Via a fully automatic operation, sensors on board the drone enable the detection of vessels or humans on the water. Using artificial intelligence, the drone calculates the optimal time to release the lifeboat close to the vessel or person in distress without human intervention enabling the lifeboat to be deployed at a close enough but safe distance. The system automatically considers weather conditions and flight plan restrictions, allowing the lifeboat to be easily used in a wide range of situations. Beyond detecting people in distress, this potentially life-saving capability represents a key role in search and rescue missions with the aim of improving maritime safety and reducing the 2,500 marine casualties and incidents reported by EU member states each year. Tech Ever's AR-5 is equipped with optical and infrared cameras, a maritime radar, an AIS receiver, and an emergency position indicating radio beacon antenna, making it the optimal solution for search and rescue and maritime surveillance missions. And after the break, Rotor flies autonomous R-22 in public demo. There's a lot of places I get to at the end of the runway or in turnarounds that I need an engine running. So to me, it's very important to have a product that I'm absolutely confident with. I am very confident with the Trailblazer propeller. And when I'm flying air shows, I know that propeller's gonna be right for me. Hello fellow pilot, I'm Barry Knutula, the CEO of King Schools, and you're invited to join me, John and Martha, and everyone at King Schools as we celebrate 50 years of helping pilots like you achieve their aviation goals. Until February 15th, you can save up to $250 on select King Schools courses. Just go to kingschools.com slant 50 years for all the details, but hurry, these savings expire on February 15th. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Rotor flies autonomous R-22 in public demo. The life flight of the R-220Y, an uncrewed R&D aircraft based on the Robinson R-22 two-seat helicopter, took place at Nashua Airport on January 30th before a crowd of around 100 people. The aircraft performed a full startup procedure, hovered in front of the audience, made turning maneuvers, and descended to land after approximately three minutes in the air. To the company's knowledge, this historic flight is the first time that an uncrewed full-scale helicopter has ever flown publicly. Airspace Link FAA approved to provide before-you-fly services. Airspace Link has been approved to provide the FAA's before-you-fly service. As an integral part of the FAA commitment to safety and seamless integration of recreational drones into the national airspace, this recognition upholds the next generation of responsibility and awareness for drone pilots nationwide. Before You Fly is a collaboration between the FAA and private industry leaders, dedicated to ensuring the safety of drone operations by providing tailored safety information and airspace awareness to recreational and commercial drone pilots. AMA Model Aviation Hall of Fame announces inductees. AMA is excited to announce that the following seven individuals were inducted into the 2023 AMA Model Aviation Hall of Fame class. Tom Cook, 
Robert Hoot Gibson, Frank Kagel, Walter Walt Mucha, Gerald Jerry Murphy, Mike Welshens, and Joyce Hager. Established in 1969, the Hall of Fame honors men and women who have made significant contributions to the sport of aero modeling. Contributions may be in volunteer or administrative activities, product development, competition performance, or variety or combination of activities. Delta Hawk adds two more power plants. Delta Hawk Engines is pumping things up and has added two new higher horsepower engine models to its family of jet fueled piston engines. Both of the new engines are based upon the architecture of the company's DHK-180, which was FAA certified in April 2023, and is now being readied for production ahead of anticipated deliveries later this year. The two new models are the DHK-200, which will produce rated takeoff power and maximum continuous power of 200 horsepower, and the DHK-235, which will produce an RTP and MCP of 235 horsepower. That's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. FAA designates Las Vegas area a no-drone zone for Super Bowl 58. As expected, Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas is a no-drone zone for Super Bowl 58. Drones are also prohibited around several additional locations during the days leading up to the event. Drones will be restricted during the following times and days. On game day, Sunday, February 11th, restrictions begin at 11 a.m. PST within two nautical miles around the stadium up to 2,000 feet in altitude. The restrictions expand between 2.30 until 8.30 p.m. PST to a 30 nautical mile radius and up to 18,000 feet in altitude. Before game day, February 5th through 9th, restrictions around Allegiant Stadium on February 5th for one nautical mile up to an altitude of 1,000 feet from between 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Restrictions around Resorts World on February 8th for one nautical mile up to an altitude of 1,000 feet from between 2 p.m. and 10 p.m. Restrictions around Allegiant Stadium on February 9th for one nautical mile up to an altitude of 1,000 feet from between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. And restrictions around Wynn Casino on February 9th for one nautical mile up to an altitude of 1,000 feet from between 5 p.m. and 11.30 p.m. Additional details are available in the Super Bowl 58 Flight Advisory. And after these messages, FAA expands before you fly drone programs. Welcome back. FAA expands before you fly drone programs. The FAA is now partnering with several companies to offer drone pilots more places to receive official airspace awareness information. The FAA's Before You Fly service shows recreational drone flyers where they can and cannot fly. The FAA has approved four companies to provide Before You Fly services through desktop and mobile applications. Approved companies will offer multiple ways to access Before You Fly and bring recreational flyers the latest airspace awareness information directly from the agency. The rule for operating unmanned aircraft systems or drones under 55 pounds in the National Airspace System is 14 CFR Part 107, referred to as the Small UAS Rule. However, if you want to fly a drone for purely recreational purposes, there is a limited statutory exception that provides a basic set of requirements. The companies selected are also FAA-approved UAS service suppliers of the Low Altitude Authorization and Notification Capability that provides information about controlled airspace, special use airspace, critical infrastructure, airports, national parks, and military training routes, information about temporary flight restrictions for special events, a clear status indicator that informs the operator whether it is safe to fly or not, informative interactive maps with filtering options, 
the ability to check whether it is safe to fly in different locations by searching for a location or moving the location pin, and links to other FAA drone resources. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.